because we just got breakfast. Today has been super amazing because I got up early, watched the sunrise. I normally always sleep long, so I was really keen on waking up once for sunrise. I'm still super tired, but at least I'm awake and now I can watch the sun going up. Now I'm thinking about getting my first coffee and then went to the beach, did two rounds of swimming, played with the waves, played with the sun and then afterwards I took a shower because I had a lot of like ocean stuff in my hair. Now we are taking some pictures because we're changing our rooms and I really like the situation here, it's pretty nice. I used to always take breakfast pictures but somehow it's so weird when you have breakfast and you're hungry and you're taking pictures of the breakfast so I decided to just eat my breakfast and maybe take a picture of the coffee. This is today's breakfast. I have again the coconut bread, avocado, the overnight oats uh, with quinoa and banana, Alex pancakes, avo bread for me, and avo bread with eggs for Alex, and more eggs for Alex. Now let's eat. Hola chicos! We changed our hotel rooms, and not because we wanted to, but it's a very busy season, so most of everything was already fully booked. We were lucky to even find four nights in a row, and it's almost time for sunset. Sun is going down at around 6. I dressed up a little, because afterwards we're heading to dinner. It's kind of my favorite time of the day, um, when I put on a little bit of makeup, which is kind of a nice feeling after you've been in the ocean the whole time. We are taking a few pictures and I put on all my favorite accessories. This is what I'm wearing. It's a white bikini from Ponies. And now we are heading upstairs. And upstairs we have a nice little chill out area uh, with a little bit of a rooftop jacuzzi. And we are a little bit lazy here in Tudum because January will be the craziest month. So much work. It will be super fun but super intense. I want to charge my batteries. Alex and I are wearing matching sunglasses. Don't be shy Alex. You look pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's both the specs. I feel like I'm a fan. I still have to decide whether I want to wear those or the one Alex has just stolen from me. Wow, this looks like a filter, like a crazy eye filter. Let's quickly take some pickies. We are doing the best thing you can do in Tudum, which is driving around by bike. <laughs> okay, getting crazy. Because during New Year's Eve, it gets really busy here. So if you want to drive a car, you have super long traffic hours sometimes. We are now heading to Matcha Mama, which is my favorite place for like as e balls, vegan balls, for Matcha Mamas. They see you rolling. back at the nomad for dinner which normally is my favorite hotel here but it's the busiest season and we have a reservation but they said it's first come first serve and it already took us a lot of talking to get in and it's so sad because normally Tulum is like all easy bohemian and now it's very like um, beach club reservation only but it's so beautiful here anyway. This is the chill out area. I just realized they built pools. So we've been here six months ago. And again, in six months in Tulum, so much is happening. So the pool area is new. And this is the beach restaurant. We were hoping to have dinner here tonight. We are so lucky because they found the table. And it's a really cute one. So we will get some food, which is this is our table, so we will have a nice dinner while swinging and watching the sunset. And this is tonight's outfit. I'm wearing a Leo 
Blue Skirt by Realization Car and the Sea by Chloe Top. Hello! Vanessa. We just got the food. Leonardo I got a salad. salad. Uh, couscous with avocado, of course. I asked for extra avocado because we need more than that, of course. This is for Alex and my sweet potatoes and I also want to eat this asparagus. We just finished our dinner at Bumat and it was delicious. And we are now waiting for the check. It's like 10 minutes left until my mama closes and I really want to have something sweet. Um, they have only fried pineapple here and I don't really like fruits for dessert. So I want to have like a chocolate raw bar or like a cappuccino. Let's see. Time to go home. And everyone else is having a party. And we are looking for sweets. <laughs> it's the end of life. I feel like I never had a sip of alcohol in, in Tulum, right? Mm. I can't when we checked in. Oh, when we checked in, we got a cocktail. But we couldn't really With a lot of tequila. <laughs> Guys, we are at the Grand Cenot. It's one of my favorite cenots. We've been here before. This is like an Insta famous spot. I feel like everyone has seen it on Instagram already. It's a really magical place. Alex just spotted a turtle. Uh, I tried to film it for you. And on the other side, you have more of a cave. So you can swim through the cave with turtles, super unique. You have lots of cenotes in Mexico and they're all super different. So you can spend weeks just going from cenot to cenot. We are at Charlie's Vegan Tacos. Uh, the whole menu is vegan because it's called Charlie's Vegan Tacos, it's a no-brainer. Which is really nice because then Alex is forced to eat vegan so I can steal all his food. Alex loves it. And we didn't order tacos, I just realized, but we ordered a bunch of amazing vegan stuff. Staring... Holy guacamole! The holy guacamole with mango. And because we're in Mexico, we got a big bowl of um, taco chips. And this is a fried plantain. I'm getting into this YouTube thing. It's not so weird anymore. I'm even when people ask me why I'm holding a camera, I'm even saying like I'm doing YouTube, which is so new to me. I quickly wanted to show you um, the restaurant in it. These are our bikes. Uh, we just came by bike, which was a bit of a challenge. Oh my god, food is coming, so I'm quickly heading back. This place really looks cute. So let's quickly check out the food. Okay, this is my healthy bowl. Alex food again looks super amazing. As always. I'm really lucky because Alex is the best boyfriend so I will end up his food. This is a good evening for me because Alex already <laughs> gave me half of his food. When we eat vegan then Alex is always very into sharing and sharing and I appreciate it. This That's not true. That's impossible. Our last morning in this super nice hotel. I'm still obsessed with the breakfast. Today I tried some new options like the fruit granola bowl. And those are our classic favorites. The pancakes, coconut bread, avocado. Uh, we already did a little bit of tanning. I wrote a blog post. I read a little, ah, I did some sport, I did meditation. And now it's time for breakfast. And then afterwards we're shaking into Azulik. I'm so obsessed with the sun. I convinced Alex to have breakfast on our uh, roof terrace, but it's super sunny. So we found a spot in the shade where Alex can have a little bit of shadow and I can still have sunshine. And I just love to sit on the ground. Alex always feels like I'm just doing that for him so that he has more space, but I really love to sit here. I just said, I really feel like it's too zoomed in. But there's nothing I can do. So when I press the record, it's zooming in. And before it zooms in, I like it more. Champagne problem. We are at the Azulik. We used to work with them when they were like a super tiny, cute hotel. Back then I found the hotel because Tula Vintage, Jessica Stein used to go here. So the first time I went to Tulum, I went to the Azulik. And even though the hotel is different to every hotel I've ever stayed at, 
I really love it. It's really amazing that you have this like eco-friendly little wooden bungalows and you are close to the water. Uh, you have no air conditioning, no electricity, no Wi-Fi, no service. And they have prices like a super fancy resort but still the place is amazing and like people still pay the price like me for one night. When people ask me where where is your happy place, waking up in this room and then getting out is so beautiful so i still feel like even if they raise the prices i will come back so we booked ourselves a sky villa um, which is in the waterfront because to me being so close to the ocean is super amazing and super special i'm happy One day I want to have a place with an ocean view. This would be my big Imagining having a place like a city like Paris or London and then an ocean. Until then, I'm always coming back. So I know I've been here so many times and I will always come back. I just love it so much. Hello, Leonie. What up? You want to film like um, a very natural little video. Alex is the creative art director, that's what he thinks. So what was your idea here? Alex tested it already. I'm getting up here, I Not open the car car curtains. The carpet. <laughs> the carpet. Then you, you walk like this. Alex explained me how to do a really cool... You, you turn. Oh my god, no that's too much, that's too beautiful. Okay, I cannot recreate this. Something like this. I'm done. We are at the restaurant from Azulik. It's called Kintao. And for me, this is like the most special evening you can have um, in Tulum because you sit kind of in a tree house above the jungle. Good night. How much did you love the food, Alex? From one to ten? Yes. I would say uh, six. And Tulum prices, how expensive was it from one to ten? <laughs> yeah, this was a fifteen. Okay, guys, we keep this between us, okay? We're just being honest. The sun is finally coming up. Good morning, guys. We had a really wild night. Not Alex and I, but the hotel next door is uh, the Papaya Playa. And I didn't know, but during this season, they have a wild goa party every night. And they started last night at 10, and they are still doing it. And it's after nine. So normally what I love most about this hotel is that it gets really scenic. So you fall asleep hearing the waves and you wake up hearing the waves. We fall asleep hearing Goa music and woke up hearing Goa music. And now we have only 90 minutes left and we quickly go to the beach to catch a little bit of sun. I'm wearing my jungle bathing suit because it reminds me of like a Destiny Child survivor mood. <laughs> After last night, I feel like Destiny Child Survivor is really my mojo. No, I feel better already, but uh, tonight was really... Morning was really tough. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's so random because this is a German song. Okay. Warum spielen wir deutsche Musik? Ich verstehe es nicht. Why not? 
try to take some low shots before checking out. Um, it was a really really short vacation This is like the good and the bad about our job Our job normally never really comes to an end So therefore it's difficult to take a longer uh, vacation It was amazing to be back in Tulum And you can be 100% sure It's my favorite place for a perfect little vacation So I'll be back